Hello there, Hilduche here, and today I am going to show you how to replace textures inside the stages of what Shenmue, Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. The Xbox version of Shenmue 2 won't, uh, won't follow this tutorial in particular. In order to do this, uh, we are going to need uh, the following tools. We are going to need an hexadecimal editor, the WinPVR uh, file program, and we are going to need the PVRX tool, the Universal PVR Structure Patcher created by the DC SWAT team. Um, uh, you can find in the description links to the f to the programs that I've mentioned. So first you are going to need uh, the file that contains the textures that you need to modify. For this purpose uh, I have look found the Green Market Quarter uh, folder for Shenmue 2 on this one which is WS00 and my target is a PKA file. Um, PKA files contain uh, textures and the PKA uh, files contains the models, the geometry of its, of its stages. You can also find textures in other places such as MT7 models, model files and SPR sprite files. So we're going to start dissecting this thing. We're going to stand a uh, to start uh, decompressing the file. Normally the Shenmue 2 stages are compressed with gzip, so we're going to use 7zip to decompress this, and here's the decompress file. I'm going to do a little renaming just for making this a bit easy. So here's the extracted file and I'm going to extract the contents with the PVRX tool. Here's the command that I'm going to use. And as you can see here, the PVRX tool has found PVR files and, it, and it's, it's extracting them. Obviously, if there is no PVR tool, you won't see any detected uh, text. So now we're going to wait. And there you go, a bunch of, pa of, of PVR files. So what I want to change is one of the, the posters that are plastered all over the stage. So that's a lot of PVR. So in order to find the exact PVR, which I'm cheating is here, but just to show you how I found it, I'm going to use the Win PVR tool. Go to File, PVR Browser, and as you can see here, here this here's the folder without the replacement, with with all the texture in the stage, and we're going to do a little searching until, in this case, we found we find our target, which is File 61. You can use the PVR tool to compress to PVR any f any texture so but we are going to use Photoshop for this case so we have our guy this is the replacement I, I, I took a picture that I randomly picked in, in via Google so now we are going to open it with Photoshop this Photoshop copy has the uh, PVR plugin uh, word of advice the the PVR plugin won't work in 64-bit versions of Adobe Photoshop, it will only work on 32-bit on uh, versions. So now we're going to load our guy here and we're going to save it. Save it to PVR. There you go. Uh, a couple of important things. First, the texture type. Uh, about 95 of Shemus textures are compressed with the VQ format. If the texture, if the original texture is compressed with the VQ format, you can use either VQ3, VQ3 small, VQ4, VQ4 small, it doesn't matter, as it keeps the, the exact size of the original texture. 
for our part, uh, you can choose between BQC, BQ3, and BQ4. As what changes basically is the compression format and therefore the the damages, the damages of the uh, ha that happened to the file. Going to use here. The pixel format is also important for this case as it, the texture has no transparency. We're going to use RGB. In Shemu there is no min maps. No game, no texture in the game has min maps. So min maps off. And because tex uh, Shemu's textures are always flipped, we're going to use the flip option. So this guy is saved. We're going to get out. So we have our edited PBR here, but we can't we cannot add the PBR just like that to the folder. What's that? Because we need to do some editing with the hexadecimal editor. For this purpose, we're going to use HXD. So there we go. And here's our texture. What you see here is a standard PBR header. Unfortunately, Shenmue doesn't not have uh, PBR headers, a standard PBR header, so we need to do a couple of modifications. First, we go to the fifth byte and change the number 8 with the number 4. Second, we need to remove we need to remove 4 bytes after the 0, 4 number, so we're going to remove them and save our file. Now, now we can add the PBR to the folder, to the modified folder. Uh, a little note here, if you only want to edit uh, one or two textures, you can just remove what you don't need and keep uh, the PBRs that you need to edit. And, this is important, keep the offset.txt file in the folder, which is which is the file that ha that makes all the magic. So now we have our edited file and I'm going to re-inject the, the PBR into a copy of the map and recompress it with, uh, with the gzip compression uh, which is why I have the 7-zip uh, executable here. So this is the script we're going to use and Whoops, something went a bit wrong. I know, okay. I forgot to make a copy and re inject. Okay, so now it worked. We have here our modified uh, PKA file. So I'm, knowing I'm going to, to cut the video here and skip to. To the, skip the part of uh, remaking the the image file of the game, and just go to the part where the game it has the texture changes. And here we are inside Shape Two Mix One, Green Market Quarter. And if we go right here, there's our guy. So I hope. I hope this tutorial was easy enough and I hope my ugly Spanish accent won't be in the way. So, cheers! <laughs>